The first Golden Age of children's books dates from about 1860 with uh, Charles Kingsley's The uh, Water Babies. And it goes through until about the First World War, ending with A. A. Mill, Winnie the Pooh. And it's a, a period where you had some really excellent blossoming of children's books, where you've got a liberation, where you've got people thinking, I'm not going to patronise or educate children, I'm really going to entertain them. And so Lewis Carroll perhaps is the strongest figure in this, in this group of books. But then you get people like E. Nesbitt, who established a way of talking to children, which was really quite radical, not patronising, very friendly. And it's the tone of voice which the 20th century children's book has actually adopted, more or less. So that period is one in which you get major books which have survived as well, like Wind in the Willows, like The Secret Garden, uh, like Alice, and even The Wind in the Willows as well, which is part of that general matrix of books which confront problems which previous children's books didn't do, uh, and have a certain political element. You've got people like um, the Railway Children in Inesbit's Railway Children, which is really a political book about class structures. And so all these things come together in this period of change, when the world was changing, when politics were changing, when everything in the world was changing, and children's books responded to it and um, produced the Golden Age.